hey everyone welcome back to another lecture of the series well today i am going to make you understand all about the effect of change of water density on the ship's main draft here you will also get to know all about what is fresh water alliance and uh, you will be able to understand its importance i am also going to cover up a derivation regarding its expression here well ships are designed to travel worldwide and the moment they do so they may pass through different densities of water they may pass through oceans rivers canals lakes etc most of the time the change of water density in between is not noticeable but there exist one such case also this is gulf of alaska where two bodies of water seem to meet together but they do not actually intermix uh, this basically happens because of uh, their different saline content different densities and temperatures okay on one side we have got the glacier melts and on the other side we have got offshore waters density is simply defined as mass per unit volume and we can say mass will be equals to the product of density and volume now when we apply the same to ships underwater volume we can say that mass of displaced water will be equals to the density of water multiplied by the volume of water displaced when the ship is being in its afloat condition the mass of displaced water will be equals to the ship's own mass okay and it is called as displacement so we can say displacement is equals to density of water multiplied by volume of displacement now if the ship is moving on its voyage and let's say the displacement is being constant but in between there is a change in the density of water what should actually happen to the volume of displacement it must change okay any variation in the density of water will cause a respective or a corresponding variation in the volume of displacement mm -hmm. what we can figure out from here that volume of displacement is being inversely proportional to density if the density decreases the volume of displacement must increase on the other hand if the density increases the volume of displacement must decrease okay now you can figure out this phenomena from this picture well this ship is being in higher density and the same is moving into river water which is having lower density you can very well observe that underwater volume has been increased in the second case it has happened because the ship is having same displacement in both the cases okay and because of a lower density the ship should now displace more water from its place in order to experience the same amount of buoyant force so the fact being whenever a ship moves from water of one density to another without there being a change in its displacement the mean draft must change by certain amount uh, this change in mean draft is quite small Uh, most of the time but it is, is still something which is to be considered in the calculations regarding ship stability why exactly it happens because ship is displacing equal amount of water in both the cases fresh water alliance it is defined as the change in mean draft when a ship moves from sea water of density 1.025 ton per meter cube to fresh water of density 1 ton per meter cube see we have specified the densities of those waters this is a specific case okay and the expression for fresh water alliance is w upon 40 tpc where w is the mass of ship in tons and tpc is the ton per centimeter immersion in sea water now the question comes where from this expression comes we are going to look at the same let us consider a ship of displacement w water plane area aw meter square it is initially floating on water line wl 
and it is lying in sea water okay it is being there in density rho sw okay the center of buoyancy and center of gravity are being in the same vertical line the ship is just in equilibrium because gravitational weight is being supported by the buoyant force perfectly if the ship moves in a water of lower density as an example fresh water the ship is moving from sea water to fresh water the ship should experience a sinkage down in the water in order to increase its underwater volume now look at this picture over here the ship is going to sink down by certain amount and the ship will now start floating on a new water line w1 l1 where exactly is the initial water line wl there it is the initial water line wl has been shown with a dotted line okay this is of course being parallel to water line w1 l1 now what we can notice over here that the underwater volume has been increased by an added layer okay which would look three dimensionally like this okay now the change in mean draft all because of a change in water density when the ship moves from sea water to fresh water is quite less and for small changes in the mean draft we will assume that water plane area is being constant for water line wl as well as for water line w1 l1 we will consider no change in the water plane area for that small change in the mean draft okay in reality the water plane area at water line wl and at water line w1 l1 will be different from one another but again it is our assumption that since change in mean draft is quite small the water plane area is assumed to be constant now how much would be the volume of this added layer it is very simple look at the water plane area which has been highlighted with yellowish color uh, this water plane area if we multiply it with the change in mean draft or if we multiply it with this depth okay we are going to get the volume of this added layer that's what it has been done here volume of added layer small v is equals to change in draft multiplied by water plane area water plane area is denoted with a w so the expression changes to this let us remember this this is going to come of use in our upcoming slides now you all know a basic relationship between density mass and volume density is equals to mass upon volume alternatively we can say volume will be equals to mass upon density when we apply the same to ships hull okay then we can say volume of water displaced will be equals to the ships displacement in tons divided by the density in ton per meter cube this particular expression we will be now applying in two different cases the first case when the ship is in sea water so we can say volume of displacement in sea water is equals to the displacement upon density of sea water and similarly volume of displacement in fresh water will be equals to the ship's displacement divided by density of fresh water if we differentiate those two terms that is volume of displacement in sea water and volume of displacement in fresh water we are going to get that added volume of displacement or you can say we are going to get that increased volume of displacement which is in the form of that added layer okay so volume of displacement in fresh water minus volume of displacement in sea water and we all know that volume of fresh water is given by this expression whereas volume of sea water is given by this expression let us substitute these expressions in their respective places so this gets changes to this w upon rho fresh water minus w upon rho sea water what we can notice in these two terms that w is being common let us bring this w common outside and simplify the expression further what we get is w into the difference of densities upon product of densities now change in volume of displacement all because of a change in water density is there in meter cube and we have recently seen that change in volume of displacement is also given by change in draft into water plane area in this regard what we can do we can equate these two expressions together 
change in draft into water plane area is equals to W into the difference of densities upon product of densities. In order to determine change in draft, we have to send this water plane area on the other side, which will of course be going in the denominator. Now change in mean draft all because of change in water density is quite small in magnitude. Expressing the same in meters is not convenient for us. This should be done in some smaller unit. Okay, so just by multiplying the same expression with 100 here, we will convert this change in draft value in centimeters. So this is a generalized expression which can help you out in the determination of change in mean draft because of change in water density. Now we all know that TPC in seawater is given by water plane area upon 100 into density of seawater. From this expression, water plane area can be quoted as TPC in seawater upon density of seawater into 100. We will substitute this value right in place of AW in the existing expression. Let us do that. And what we can notice from here that 100 will get cancelled from numerator as well as denominator. Same will happen with raw seawater also. And let us rewrite the remaining expression over here, which is W upon TPC in seawater into raw SW minus raw FW upon raw FW. This is again a general expression which includes TPC term in it. Now freshwater alliance will have to be determined and we are going to substitute the values of seawater density and freshwater density. We all know seawater density is 1.025 ton per metric cube and freshwater density is 1 ton per metric cube. Let us substitute them in their respective places and simplify the expression further. This gives us W upon 40 TPC in seawater. Well, this is the expression for fresh water alloyance, where W is the ship's displacement in tons and TPC in seawater is the value in tons. Now, somewhere in the load line marks, we can very well observe the vertical distance between top edge of S and top edge of F mark which is fresh water alliance. If ship goes from seawater to fresh water, the ship's mean draft is going to get increased by this amount only. Same is the vertical separation between top edge of T and top edge of TF mark. Now practically, when we see the load line marks and let's say there is a ship which is being in its fully loaded condition floating in seawater in summer zone, the water line would be touching the top edge of S mark. If the same ship moves in fresh water, the ship will experience a parallel sinkage down in the water and now it will sink itself up to the top edge of F mark. That means top edge of F mark will come in the same horizontal line as water line. So this was all about fresh water alliance.